Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through some MLB player props I like on prize picks for today for Wednesday, June the 29th. Uh, as per usual on Wednesdays, we kind of have a split slate today. So we do have some early games. I think there are like I think there are like 15 games total, um, but there's like seven or eight games that are starting, you know, in the early afternoon between one and four o'clock Eastern time. Um, so kind of a split slate today. All the plays that I'm on at first look that I liked when I first looked at the board, they're all coming from the later games, from the night games. So hopefully by the time you guys are watching this video, whatever time it may be, you know, early afternoon, whatever, um, you'll be able to get all the plays in. I'll definitely take a look at the board again on Wednesday morning, find some more plays I like that I'll share on Patreon. Definitely we'll find some plays I like in some of these day games, and I'll share those over on Patreon. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, it's linked down below in the description. You can get access to all of my additional prospects plays along with the plays that I obviously, you know, give out every day on YouTube. But before we talk through our plays for today's video, we can talk through our, our plays from yesterday, recap um, how we did Tuesday. And Tuesday was a pretty good day. Um, we went 2-0-1, so we, we had two wins, and then one of our picks did push. Uh, the two picks that we hit were the over on Johnny Cueto's fancy points. Needed 25 fancy points from Cueto. He got us 34. Um, he pitched pretty well. Um, he did have one blow-up inning where he gave up three solo home runs. I think it was the third inning. He gave up three solo home runs, but was able to fight through, get the quality start. I think he finished with like five strikeouts. Um, obviously gave up those three runs, but still got over 30 or still got over his fancy score, finished with 34 fancy points. And then we also hit the over on Brandon Woodruff's strikeouts. Needed five strikeouts from Woodruff, and he doubled his projection. He had uh, actually 10 strikeouts. Woodruff pitched a great game. Uh, he went five innings, got 10 Ks. I'm pretty sure he had six strikeouts through like the first three innings. Um, he just came out firing. He was mowing down the Rays. I mean, the Rays just couldn't hit him. Um, great game from Woodruff. That one wasn't a sweat at all. And then the one pick that did push was the over on Tariq Skubal's strikeouts. We took that at five, and that's what he finished with. He finished with five strikeouts. I know that line did actually move up to five and a half. I checked it. I checked the line again on on Tuesday. Um, you know, after I made my video the day after, and I saw the line did go up to five and a half. So hopefully you guys were able to get it in at five. Um, usually I always say to you. Know, Make sure you got some. Make sure you got notifications on. You want to get, you know, you want to be able to watch these videos as soon as I upload them, so you can get the plays in as soon as I do. Um, because that line did go up to five and a half, but if you still got it in at five, um, you know, it, it wound up pushing. So that, you know, basically meant you were still able to get three extra money if you did a three pick power play and you had Scooball at five strikeouts and he pushed. You still able to to you know cast the other two plays, which paid out three x. So hopefully you guys did make some money on Tuesday. It was a you know, pretty solid day overall. Let's try and do it again, though, on Wednesday slate. Before we talk through our, our three plays for today, guys, make sure, as always, you hit that like button down below. Always appreciate you guys checking out these videos every day. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet and if you are new here. Also, check out Price Picks. Make sure to sign up for Price Picks and use my promo code, promo code NOAA. Uh, Price Picks will match your first deposit up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. Um, you know, take a look at the board Prospects has available right now. They have a ton of props up for MLB. They offer a ton of props that you know a lot of other books don't offer. A lot of sports books don't offer. If you want to, you know, if you're into fantasy score, um, if you're if you've played DFS before and you're into fantasy score, if you make your own fantasy projections, you can compare your projections to Prospects projections. Make some of your picks that way. They have pitches thrown, which I, I think is a category that not many books offer. Um, you know, they have hitter fantasy score, total bases, and these this isn't even their full board. They'll add even more props. As we get closer to the start of the games on Wednesday, obviously the prospects offers a lot of other sports as well outside of just MLB. So if you like to look at other sports, whether it be esports, golf, you know, tennis, soccer, doesn't matter. Prospects is going to offer everything pretty much. Definitely check them out. Uh, make sure to sign up with promo code NOAA and you will get your first deposit matched up to $100. Uh, but talking through my three plays for today, what I'm liking for Wednesday slate, um, I got three strikeout props that I like. So talking through our three strikeout props for today, first off, we're going to go to Kyle Wright, and I'm liking the over five and a half strikeouts for Kyle Wright today. Kyle Wright's the guy that I've I kind of bet on a lot this season, and he's treated me pretty well. Um, he's done pretty, or he's been pitching pretty well this season. He's had really good numbers so far this year. He's really upped his strikeout rate, as you can see in previous seasons. You know, 2021, 2020, 2019, 18. You know, his K rates were around 17%, 17%, 19%. Well, this season, he's really upped his strikeout stuff. He's got a 26.6% K rate this year. He's got good swing and miss stuff. He's got, you know, he ranks 67th percentile in, in whiff percentage. Um, you know, he's got he's got a curveball. He's been getting a lot of swings and misses on this year. If you look at his uh, pitch type, his curveball has a 33.7% whiff percentage, which is kind of the go-to pitch that he throws to get a lot of swings and misses. 
And although this Phillies team, you know, although they don't strike out a ton, if you look at where they rank versus right-handed pitching this season, they're about middle of the pack. They're actually dead middle um, in terms of strikeout rate, 22.3%. You can take a look at their lineup for tomorrow, what their projected lineup is. There still are some hitters in here that will strike out quite a bit. And it is worth noting that Bryce Harper is injured right now. He's not in the lineup. So you know, we're taking out a dangerous bat. Obviously, Bryce Harper, you know, he does K a decent amount. But you're replacing Bryce Harper most likely with Mickey Moniak, which is a, a new guy, I think, that they called up from AAA. And so far this year in the majors, he's got a 36% uh, strikeout rate. So taking out Bryce Harper, replacing him with Moniak, who has a 36% strikeout rate, it's pretty big. Um, and there's a lot of other guys in this lineup that will K. I mean, Kyle Schorber, 27% K rate this year. Reese Hoskins, 26%. Castellanos, 25%. Abdul Herrera, um, Alec Bohm, their K rates are just above 20%. Same with Stott as well. The only guys that have K rates below 20% in this Phillies lineup are JT Real Muto and Didi Gregorius. Everyone else has a K rate above 20%. So I think there's enough strikeouts in this lineup for Kyle Wright to be able to get us 6Ks here. And Kyle Wright, he has gone over 6Ks in a good amount of starts this season. He's made 14 starts so far this year for the Braves, and he's got at least 6 strikeouts and 9 out of those 14 starts. Um, and he has faced the Phillies already once this season. He did not get 6Ks against the Phillies when he last faced them on May 26. He had 5 strikeouts, um, pitched 6 and 2 thirds innings, gave up 3 hits, 3 runs, 2 walks, had 5 strikeouts. But he's a good strikeout pitcher, and I think, you know, when you look at this Phillies lineup individually, there's enough guys in this lineup that will K um, that I think I think Kyle Wright can get a six strikeouts here. And he's gone over six strikeouts in, in a good amount of his starts this season. Um, I do like getting this line at five and a half. If this line was at six, I don't think it would be as appealing just because I think there's a good chance Wright finishes with six strikeouts. And, you know, I don't really want to try. I don't want to play for a push. I want to have at least a chance to go over. Uh, and I think at this five and a half line, Wright can get a six Ks, can go over this line. So I do like this one quite a bit as our first play for today. Going to be taking the over uh, five and a half strikeouts for Kyle Wright. And then our next play, a little bit of a tougher matchup, a little bit of a scary matchup, but I definitely think this strikeout line is too low. And we're going to be taking the over four and a half strikeouts for Nick Pavetta. Uh, so Nick Pavetta so far this year for the Red Sox, by no means is he an elite strikeout pitcher. He has a 24% K rate this year, which is solid. Um, it's you know about average, slightly above average. This, this matchup against the Blue Jays is definitely scary because if you look at where the Blue Jays rank, you know, in terms of strikeout rate, there are some Ks in this lineup. You know They're slightly less than middle of the pack. Uh, they rank 19th in K rate, 21.7% K rate this year. This is definitely a spot where I think Pavetta will probably give up some runs, um, which is why I like taking his strikeouts and not fantasy score. His fantasy score line right now, um, it's 29 and a half. I have a hard time seeing Nick Pavetta get over this fantasy score unless he gets five strikeouts or more because he's probably going to give up at least like one or two runs, maybe even like three runs. Um, so I think the strikeout line is too low. Either either his strikeout line is too low or his fantasy score is too high, one or the other. And I think I think the strikeout line is definitely too low at four and a half. Um, I did look at Pavetta's game log so far this year. He has gotten at least five strikeouts and a good amount of his starts this season. Pavetta's made 15 starts this year. He's got at least five Ks in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so nine out of his 15 starts this year, he has at least five Ks. And uh, Pavetta has faced the Blue Jays twice this season. He faced them on April 20th. He had four strikeouts through four innings, um, gave up um, five runs. So he did get beat around a little bit. And then he faced them again, his next start on April 26th. Pitched four and two-thirds innings, got six strikeouts. So he went over, um, also kind of struggled that start, gave up two runs, four walks, three hits. But so far this year, Pavetta has shown some decent strikeout stuff. I mean, he had a he had a 10 strikeout game against St. Louis. He had 11 strikeouts against the Angels. Um, he had you know eight Ks against Houston, seven Ks against Oakland. Pavetta is a solid pitcher. Um, this is a spot where he definitely will probably give up some runs, but I still think he can get us five strikeouts. If we take a look at this Blue Jays lineup, I mean. There are definitely some, some strikeouts in this lineup because when you look at you know the K rates for some of these guys, like Te uh, Teoscar Hernandez, 29% K rate this year. Um, Kevon Biggio, 29% K rate this year. Matt Chapman, 28% K rate. Even Bo Bichette, a great hitter, obviously, but he's got a 25% K rate. You know, the really the guys that don't strike out are like Rymel Tapia, just a 16% K rate. Espinal, 19%. Uh, Alejandro Kirk, he's having a great season. He's only striking out 9% of the time. Like I said, I, I think Pavetta might give up a few runs today, but I still think he can get us five strikeouts, and he's been able to get five strikeouts more times than not so far this season. Obviously, like I said, nine out of 15 starts this year, he's gotten at least five Ks. So I definitely like this line at four and a half. I think this is a little bit too low. Um, I, I think Pavetta can definitely get some Ks against some of those guys that will strike out a lot, like Matt Chapman, Hernandez, um, Biggio. Hopefully he can strike those guys out. 
maybe he can get a K against Vlad or maybe Kirk or somebody, but I like his chance of getting five Ks here. Um, I think with a 24% K rate, with where the Blue Jays rank around middle of the pack in terms of strikeout rate, this is definitely a, too low of a line in my opinion. If this line was like five and a half, I really wouldn't like it that much, but I think at four and a half, that that's, feels a little bit too low. Um, so I do like that as our over for today, over four and a half strikeouts from Nick Pavetta. And then our third and final play, we're going to be taking an under. Again, it's going to be another strikeout prop. I, I just kind of showed him on the screen. Uh, we're going to be taking the under on Cal Quantrill, four and a half strikeouts. This line, I don't know why this line's at four and a half. This does feel way too high to me because Cal Quantrill, he has made 13 starts this year and he has only gotten five strikeouts or more. So he's only gone over this line in three out of 13 starts. He had five strikeouts against Kansas City on May 31st. He had five strikeouts against Cincinnati on May 19th. And he had seven strikeouts against the Padres on May 4th. All other 10 starts that Quantrill has made this season, he has four strikeouts or less. Now, this matchup against the Twins, you know, there are some strikeouts in this Twins lineup. If you look at where they rank in terms of K-rate versus right-handed pitch in this season, they're 11th in K-rate, 22.8%. We can take a look at their lineup individually. Um, you know, like I said, there's definitely some Ks in this lineup. Like, so far this year, um, when you look at strikeout rate, Byron Buxton, 26% K-rate, Polanco, 24%, Correa, 23%, Krilov, 29%, um, Gary Sanchez, Nick Gordon, both 25% K-rates. But man, like Cal Quantrill is not a pitcher that gets strikeouts. And you can see that just looking at his game log. He only has a 5.63 K per nine this year. He's only been able to get five strikeouts or more in three out of 13 starts. And he has just a 15% K rate this year. If you look at where he ranks in terms of K percentage, he's bottom 8% in the league in strikeout rate. Uh, his whip percentage is, you know, bottom 2% in the league. Like he has a really bad, he doesn't really get any swings and misses. Um, he doesn't really get guys to chase or he does get a decent amount of chases, but he doesn't really get a ton of swings and misses just in general. Um, and against this Twins team, like, this Twins lineup is good. And although there are some strikeouts in this Twins lineup, like, I think the Twins can beat beat up Cal Quantrill here. Maybe he gets pulled a little bit early. I think this is a spot where he could definitely give up some runs. He could get he could give, some, give up some walks, maybe. Maybe he doesn't pitch deep into the game. Maybe he only goes, like, four or five innings. I just have a hard time seeing him get five strikeouts. I mean, more times than not, I think Quantrill goes under this line. I really like this line at four and a half as well because I think there's a good chance that Quantrill maybe finishes with four Ks. And if we take the under at four and a half, then we're, you know, we're going to win our bet. If this line does get bumped down to four, I wouldn't like it as much. But I think right now, while it's at four and a half, I definitely like the under here. Just feel like this line is too high. Um, this Minnesota offense is good. Cal Quantrill's not a great strikeout pitcher, has a really low K rate. And if he goes out there and gets five Ks or more today, then so be it. But I think more times than not, you play this game out a hundred times, Quantrill's getting four. 4Ks or less, probably 65, 70 times out of 100. So I like this one quite a bit. Going to be taking the under four and a half strikeouts for Cal Quantrill to you know round out our three plays for today. So this is what I'm liking for Wednesday slate, guys. Just kind of taking a first look at the board. Um, over five and a half strikeouts for Kyle Wright. Over four and a half strikeouts for Nick Pavetta. And under four and a half strikeouts for Cal Quantrill. Um, feel pretty good about these three plays. Hopefully we can have another good day on Wednesday. Again, guys, if you enjoy these YouTube videos, if they help you out a lot, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to get more prospects plays from me, I provide those over on Patreon. Check the Patreon link down below in the description um, if that's something that does interest you. And make sure to sign up for Prospects as well. Sign up for Prospects. Use promo code NOAA. They will match your first deposit up to $100 uh, when you do sign up with my promo code. And if you want to tell the plays I give out in this video, obviously feel free to do so if you want to make more plays for yourself. Uh, check out Prospects Board. See all the plays they have available, all the props they have available right now. Um, they'll add even more props for MLB as we get closer to the start of the games on Wednesday. Prospects off also offers a lot of other sports outside of just MLB. So if you like to dabble into other sports, Definitely give them a try, sign up, use that promo code, and get your first deposit matched up to $100. But good luck tonight, guys. As always, I appreciate you watching these videos. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, we can win some money tonight. You know, Best of luck, and we'll see you in the next one. Good luck, guys. Peace.